and welcome a very special guest to talk about what's happening for low fare airlines. I know they don't like to call themselves low budget these days, but we'll talk about how the aviation space is from the eye of a smaller, perhaps a more efficient airline. Jay Vadia, thanks for joining us. Thank you. How do you feel about the recession and the noise in the aviation space right now? Has it nerved you a bit? Well, the recession hasn't affected uh, domestic consumption that much. It has had an impact, yes. From an aviation perspective, yes, we have seen less people fly. Uh, we've seen corporates, you know, in terms of uh, move towards video conferencing and other facilities, you know, therefore in terms of less travel. We have seen a downturn in, in less number of passengers flying. But as a, as a low fare airline, did you feel that the pressure was less during the recession for companies like yours? Well, yes, because our cost base is very low. You know, we don't have inefficient costs. Uh, well, at least internal inefficient costs. <laughs> we do have quite a few external inefficient costs. But internally, in terms of we're, we're very lean, very agile, very flexible when it comes what to our cost structure. What efforts did you sort of uh, undertake during this period? Because, I mean, one can't say that we're really out of it. We might have seen the bottom of the recession, but the slowdown is far from over. So how are you sort of bringing in these efficiencies? Well, ultimately, we have to keep our cost uh, low. We have to multitask uh, the people that we have. Mm -hmm. So each person does more than less. You picked up two aircraft in the last uh, 18 months or so? Well, we, brought, we bought 20 aircraft about two years ago, out of which eight brand new ones have been delivered and seven have been re-delivered. Seven of the old ones have been re-delivered. Mm -hmm. So we've stuck to our plans. You know, we haven't in terms of, you know, changed our plans or postponed our plans. What's enabled you to stick to your plans and not postpone them? That too at a time when everybody actually just fell for the bait. It's a recession time, let's just freeze. Well, because we, our plans or, 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 or our, our schedule essentially in terms of was planned very carefully. Uh, you know, some people in terms of over a year ago said we were too small, we weren't growing fast enough. You know, and today the same people in terms of say that there's, there's some efficiency to this strategy. Right. You know, we've remained small, we've remained nimble, we've remained agile because we plan to. And the reason for that is because we find that there are many factors, external factors, like policies, taxes, infrastructure improvements that need to take place. Right, but then some people would argue, and I don't know if you look at this as criticism, but when the times are good, you worked on this strategy. When the times are bad, you still worked on this strategy. Does it always work in your favor, perhaps? Did you ever feel a bit left out when initially everybody was going aggressive and you had to go slow out of not too much choice? I mean, there were times where, you know, in terms of some of the some of the criticism in terms of, you know, gets to you and you start thinking about it. But ultimately, you know, the, the, the good thing about, you know, doing business simulations and financial plans is so that, you know, you you, you stick to your, your, your focus. And ultimately, our focus was that, look, it's a sunrise industry. It's going to take typically five to seven years to turn around for all the external factors to improve. And while we're going through those seven years, why expand? Right, why but expand would, beyond a certain point? People would probably think Jayawadi has aggressive when it comes to business because at the end of the day you want this business if you say it's agile you know you want it to deliver what it's supposed absolutely. to absolutely when you say that the business is uh, you know at the moment nimble despite the slowdown do you really mean that the business is in black well we have uh, months where we are cash positive we have months uh, where we're uh, breaking even so ultimately you know it all depends on various uh, external factors